Hello ladies and gentlemen, Jim here. Historians believe they have uncovered a building some 30 miles from Jerusalem which is believed to have been part of the Biblical Kingdom. Archaeologists are divided over whether or not Biblical figures such as King David and King Solomon ever existed. Professor Avraham Faust, co-head of the archaeological dig, said he believes this latest discovery further supports the case for the historical accuracy of the Bible. He claims the latest discovery is clear to have been part of the events of the Bible ascribed in the Kingdom of David. Now, archaeologists were aided by burrowing mole rats who bring earth to the surface, which gives them a clue as to what is hiding below. Professor Faust and Yair Sapir of Bar Elan University believe the building could be part of the city of Eglon. Now, the city is mentioned in the Bible as one of the five who fought against the Israelites before being conquered. Now, Dr. Faust told Breaking Israel News, we of course did not find any artifacts that said King David or King Solomon, but we discovered sight signs of a social transformation in the region which are consistent with a change from Canaanite culture to a Judean culture. Since it took place at a time we believe the kingdom of David began to spread into this region, it is clear this building was part of the events in the Bible ascribed to the kingdom of David. That's very fascinating, folks, and um, you know some people would would believe that King David and King Solomon never existed. I, of course, I do believe that they they did exist, and this is a fascinating find. And I, I just I have a sense that in these days that we are living in now, we're going to find more and more of these things. There's going to be more and more evidence popping up that that will prove the accuracy of the Bible which I believe is 100% accurate. But uh, I will leave you a link to this, folks. I would ask you please to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Please give this video a thumbs up. Please share it if you feel so led to, folks. And you know that speaking of the Word of God, even the elect will be deceived. And you'll uh, read about that in my new fiction book, Light, a Wayfarer Story. And I wonder how fictional this really is. This is about now, especially where America is concerned, and going into the future. Check it out, folks. If you're a world watcher, check it out. If you're woke, check it out. You can also read Chapter 1. There's a link to a free read of Chapter 1 below as well. It's available in Kindle and paperback, folks. And most importantly of all, do not be given over to the spirit of fear, but instead of the power of love, and of a sound mind that comes through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God bless you.